Hello, I've been thinking about Fez physics and base building. Um, if you aren't familiar with Fez physics, this is going to be pretty confusing, but here's a refresher. In Fez physics, you have a 2D world, and there's a ladder on this brick, and there's a ladder on this brick. And you can climb this ladder, but you'll never reach this ladder because it's too far to jump. So you rotate the world 90 degrees, and you end up with a brick and a ladder from the side, like this, and a brick and a ladder from the side. And the world does not understand this concept of depth, so to it, this is a contiguous ladder, and you can just climb all the way up. Uh, moreover, if you stop here and rotate the world, you'll be on the left half of the screen on the left brick, and if you stop here and rotate the world, you'll be on the right half of the screen on the right brick. I was thinking about ways to make uh, mechanisms and bases that players can create more interesting without making them harder to manage. Um, if you're familiar with, uh, uh, with building things in, in Minecraft, say, you know that it always comes down to um, whether or not you can cram tiny, tiny routes of complicated stuff, and whether it's wires or rooms or whatever, uh, everything, everything is, is it has to be crammed together um, simply because everything takes up space. Everything takes up this uh, this rigidly defined space in three dimensions, and unless you've carefully mapped that out in your mind ahead of time, um, it's going to be difficult for you to make. And even if you have mapped it out carefully in your mind ahead of time, you're still talking about these um, huge numbers of, of uh, you know, dodgy little hallways, and you're still talking about having to carry all of that around in your head. So I was thinking, is there any way to allow people to build bases and mechanisms in a way which isn't this kind of, of um, self-limiting system, but is instead something where you can build a base uh, and a system, and then you know you can keep building it. And if you if you decide that you're going to do X or Y, you're not going to suddenly think, oh well, crap, I've I've programmed myself into a corner when I carved this hall. I've I've uh, architectured myself into a corner. I didn't think it through clearly enough. Because the whole point of base building and base building games is uh, is not to make it so that when you fail to think forward far enough, you lose. It's to make it when you fail to think, think forward far enough, you have to think on your feet and use your subpar design, at least partially, to continue to move forward. And that should never be difficult. It should just be interesting. So I've been thinking about it in terms of fez, fez physics. So let's say that you allow a player to build... Um, rooms on a, on a surface. So here's a surface. And so the player builds, say, a kitchen. So it's got a stove, and it's got a little, um, it's got a little uh, table over here, uh, and it's got pots hanging from the ceiling. And then over here, that player builds a, uh, a storehouse. And, it, you know, it's got boxes in it, and it's got some stuff, some shelves with stuff on them. Now the player can walk along and he can, you know, uh, Terraria style, use this stuff. But he can also rotate the world. And when he rotates the world, instead of uh, looking like this, they would combine and you get a side view. Um, so let's say that he has it so that they are not going to be over on top of each other, but are instead going to be uh, lined up tail to face. So instead of uh, of having two separate buildings, you suddenly just have one. And that would be a building where you've got something like this. Of course, it's been, been rotated, so it doesn't look exact, exactly like this. But you'd have something like the stove might be here with the pots here and the table here. And then you'd have right here, you'd have the storehouse. And the storehouse might be stretched out uh, because it's a different depth than it looks like from the front. So it might look more like this. And because of this mechanic, this can be a single building from this view, even though it's two buildings from this view. Moreover, your storehouse can be quite deep, and then you can rotate it and it will become small. So you can compress space in this manner. Uh, and if you need to build your storehouse, if you need to deepen your storehouse later, you deepen it here, and you build more shelves here, and more boxes here, 
and when you rotate back it still looks like this. Well, maybe it looks like this. What's more is if you were to rotate the other way you wouldn't necessarily get this same thing. For example, let's say that this building, this, uh, this, this uh, kitchen that we've built, let's say that it is not a square building. Let's say that when you rotate it, it actually looks like this. It's long, and it's got the stove over here with the pots hanging down, and this table is actually this long-ass dining table, and it's got, like, stuff on it and chairs. Um, you know, it's, 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 a full, it's a full dining experience. It's not a cramped little room. Now, here's the thing. If we build our storehouse here, like in the previous version, this storehouse is behind. It's, it's behind this building. We can't see it from this angle. If we rotate the other way, the storehouse has dominance, and instead of seeing this, we see this storehouse. So if you were cooking, you would rotate it to the right, and you'd cook, and then you'd rotate it to the left 180 degrees, and you'd be ready to serve on this giant dining table. And NPCs um, could be taught how to do this uh, in some manner as well. So I was thinking, this dynamic makes it possible for you to build bases room by room and cleverly layer them without ever really running out of space. You don't have to worry that you've written yourself into a corner. At very worst, all you do is destroy one of these buildings and move it, um, which is not normally so easy because it's normally integrated into the building with like hallways and shit. Uh, and you don't have to worry about that here. Mechanisms are the same way. Let's say you've got a pipe, and there's energy coming down out of this, pi out of this pipe. And you've got two machines you want to power with it. You've got like a super loom type machine over here, which makes your magical clothes. And you've got a, uh, a smelting machine over here, where you turn uh, materials into pure uh, metals. They're not connected to the energy pipe, but if you rotate this way, they will be, because these are on the same depth axis, and they end up being connected. So if you rotate this way, the energy goes here. If you rotate this way, the energy goes here. And you can actually do four machines by having a machine in the foreground here, and a machine in the background behind it that you can't really see very well. And so you can change how the machine works by rotating it. Since a rotation rotates everything in the room, you don't have to worry about getting lost with having 10,000 different switches. The room has exactly four states. Each of those four states can be complicated, but you're not going to be changing them arbitrarily. You're not going to have to flip 800 switches. You're only going to be flipping one switch, the turn right or turn left switch, and then all of the things come into configuration as you've pre-programmed it. So each room is a four-state machine, but all of those states can be arbitrarily complicated. So I was thinking about this. I don't really know whether it would be fun, but it would certainly be interesting. Um, the downside is that it's actually not as easy to program as you might think, so I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. But I thought I would bring it up because it's such a fun thought experiment. Uh, and if you haven't played Fez... Uh, you should either play it, or if you don't have an Xbox Live system, you can watch a YouTube Let's Play of it. There are plenty of them around. Uh, and I guarantee you that you will start off thinking that everything is very simple, and you will end off thinking <coughs> that your brain is on fire. Anyhow, I was thinking this would be fun, and that's that, and um, that's your thought of the day.